cabin build, sliding patio door. The window supplier wanted $3,700 for a door with a nailing flange. I bought this door for $500 at Home Depot. It has no nailing flange. I saved $3,200. Let's go. Construction coach here. Today, I'm gonna show you an install on a sliding patio door. So this is my opening. This is my sliding patio door. I ended up getting it on sale at the Home Depot. I've already checked to make sure that my new unit is gonna fit into the opening. Everything's nice and plumb and level and square. I'm gonna begin by cutting the 3 8 OSB out and uh, clean off the sill. Uh, apply a nice clean bead of silicone across the bottom. Once the frame is in the opening, because these are kind of loosey-goosey how they lock together, they want you to really make sure that each side of your frame is plumb, and they even want you to go as far as checking your diagonals to make sure your unit is square. Then you're gonna drill a 3 8 hole through the inside of the frame, attach with some 3 inch screws through your shim packs. Uh, it looks like they've supplied you with four plastic covers for that, so that's just two screws per side. And then I'm gonna lock the whole frame in with some foam. This is a really great product. Um, locks the whole frame in, it'll have continuous contact and no way for air to get past it. So let's get going. First, I'm gonna cut out this opening. I'm adding a 2x2 two two to the top of my framed opening. The door I purchased at Home Depot is 2 inches shorter than the expensive door from the window supplier. Adding the 2x2 two two and foaming the frame in tight will be a great solution for this problem. Using quad window and door sealant, I'm running 3 beads exactly where the threshold will be, preventing air seepage. Now careful sliding the door in. Keep it tipped back so you don't press into the sealant until in perfect position. Once in position, press the frame downward into the sealant and use cedar shims to temporary hold so you can check outside and make sure the frame is flush with the exterior sheeting. There is no nailing flange, so I will finish a casing of smart trim around the frame. Very important to be flush. I'm using a shim at the bottom to push the base to the right, plumbing the frame. That shim made the two sides and the bottom perfect. Now I can move on to fitting in the shim packs at the three locations on each side. The frame is set perfect. With two shims, I will push them together at the latch location, filling the void tight but not pushing the frame. I will screw a 3 inch wood screw through the latch location, securing the cedar shims filling the void. Verify it's plumb once the screw is tight. I will now install shim packs above and below the latch, securing the frame to the framing in two more locations. When the shims are tight, check the frame is still plumb and no bulge from the shims. The manufacturer has supplied two 3 8 plugs for each side. I will drill a 3 8 hole through the first layer of the PVC frame. Don't push too hard or the drill could go through the second layer. Using 3 inch wood screws, I will screw through the frame into the shim packs. 
Verify the frame is plumb and straight. Use oscillating tool to cut off the extra shims. Great, that's one side done. Check that the door slides good and do it all over on the other side. Once the other side is secure, check the doors and make sure they slide with ease and fit tight against the sides. Better to make sure it works perfect before foaming in tight. Shake foam in the can vigorously. Fill void between framing and frame. This frame took two cans to fill. Here are some close-ups of the frame. You can see the locations where I screwed in at the latch and you can see where I've made those 3 8 holes. Starting on the outside, I will cut the foam flush with the PVC frame and exterior sheeting. Using sheathing tape, I will tape from the frame to the building paper. Cut smartboard trim and install with 16 gauge finishing nails. There will be a bead of silicone finishing from the frame to the smart trim around the inside. Once installed, use drip flashing at the top. Create one inch dam at each side and don't nail below the one inch line. Tape flashing to building paper. All right, that concludes our install. You can see here the sliding patio door is all foamed in. I got the trim done on the outside and we have each panel sliding perfectly and I'm really happy with the result. I've added in this piece up here because I got that discounted door because it was a little shorter. Uh, I foamed it all in and now the drywall I'll bring down to here and be able to show you my half jams after I'm done doing all the drywall. Hope you enjoyed the install and um, hopefully it helps you out. Thanks for watching.